Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft is expected to gradually roll out with the February 2025 update. It is important to note that even after updating to the latest release of Windows, you may or may not see all the features right away. That's because Microsoft usually rolls them out slowly. Okay, let's look at what's new with the February 2025 update for Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, let's start by looking at the changes for the taskbar. Starting with this update, the taskbar now produces a new animation effect to view the preview thumbnails for applications. For example, right here, I have File Explorer and hovering over, you can see that new effect. Now, also when selecting a tab or an instance, depending on the support for the application, you're going to notice that the highlight is more pronounced, so you can clearly see the instance that you are selecting. Now, also, if you have a computer that is capable for the Windows Studio effects, every time that you open an application that supports any of these effects, you're now going to see the Studio effects icon appearing on the taskbar. Before, it was only available through the Quick Settings menu, which is still available, but now you can access some of the features through the dedicated button that will appear only when an application supports one or more features. Now, let's look at the improvements for File Explorer. After you install the February 2025 update for Windows 11, when you right click an item on the left pane, we're going to find the context menu now includes a new item that allows us to create a new folder right from the left navigation pane. Microsoft is also updating the context menu and when you want to share a file, you will now see that the option to share has been renamed to share with and now it's a sub menu that allows you to share that specific file directly to an application as you can see right here you can also click this option and that's going to bring the actual windows share experience so from here you can select the contact or another application to share that specific file now if we open folder options and then if we go to the view tab we are going to find this option, which is not new on Windows. And this option basically allows us to restore your folders that were open when you sign in back on your computer. However, the logic of this feature has been updated. So now it will also restore the tabs that you might have open on an instance of File Explorer. So if we enable this feature and then click apply, click OK, and then we restart the computer or log off, log back on. The File Explorer is going to remember the tabs and it will restore them the next time that you open the application. Let's give this a try. And there you go. File Explorer has restarted automatically and all the previous tabs will restore as soon as we logged in on Windows 11. So another change that we're going to find as part of the uh, File Explorer improvements, if we go to Accounts and then we go to Signing Options, the automatically restore your apps when you log back in into your computer has been updated. So if you turn this on, it will also turn on the option to restore your previous Windows and tabs at log on. Finally, Microsoft was also planning to update the home page for File Explorer to show the files that have been shared with you with this new share tab and that include files, emails, Teams chat and other types of content. However, the company is now delaying this feature for another update. So we're not sure when this feature will be available for Windows 11 users. Now, if we go to the settings app and then we open the date and time page, you're not going to find visual changes. However, if you use a standard account, you will now be able to change the time zone without having the need to use an administrator account. Now, as part of the February 2025 update, Microsoft is updating the mobile hotspot feature. So it now supports six gigahertz connections. However, you still need a network adapter that supports the six gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Also, Microsoft is updating the magnifier feature on Windows 11. So in this update on the magnifier interface, you're going to find these two new buttons. This one will reset the zoom to fit the screen, and this one will reset the zoom to the last preferred magnification. 
It is important to note that these features were already available on Windows 11 as keyboard shortcuts, but now the company added these dedicated buttons to the interface. And finally, as part of the Windows 11 February 2025 update, Microsoft will start rolling out the resume feature, which you can find on settings, apps, and right here at the bottom of the page, you're going to see the new resume feature. And basically when you turn this on, the system will allow you to resume documents from your OneDrive account on your computer that you started editing on your iPhone or Android phone. The concept isn't entirely new because on Windows 11, we also have Timeline and Cortana that kind of have like a similar feature, but it appears that Microsoft is still trying to integrate your phone into Windows. So when you turn on the feature and you have the same Microsoft account, on your computer and your OneDrive account and on your mobile device, you will receive a notifications as you can see right here on this screenshot to resume editing your document you started working on your mobile device within the last five minutes after unlocking your computer. When you click the notification, the document won't open the associated app already installed on your computer. Instead, the file will resume on OneDrive using the Microsoft 365 apps online, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And you can also resume PDF files. Finally, for the feature to work as intended, you have to have your OneDrive app open on your phone when your computer is locked. Only when you unlock the computer within the five minutes after accessing the file on your phone will the system show you the notification on the desktop. Now, if this feature isn't for you, just keep it disabled. And that's it, those are the most significant improvements that we're going to see on the next cumulative update for Windows 11. This is not a feature update, it's just another monthly update, but it includes some features. As always, Microsoft plans to roll out fixes for issues for the operating system, so make sure to check the video description for the link with a complete overview of everything that's new on this update. Let me know in the comments what you think about these features and also let me know in the comments the type of content that you would like me to keep on covering on this channel. Also, like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.